what I end up is something like this. Don't be afraid. Okay? So it's all pixelated and ruined and weird, but really all I wanted was this stupid map to begin with. So I'm going to take this map, clone it, and safely put it somewhere where I can get to it on my hard drive. Now, I would, if I were you, uh, just reload the skull. That little thing right there is quite of annoying. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's one of ZBrush famous things or what is it, but I know it crashes as soon as you do a lot of stuff and it looks like that. So. I don't usually play around with the whole idea of trying to fix it. I'd rather reload it. Now, what I'm going to do is take that, take that displacement, and make something out of it. So I'm going to use a polyplane for that. Okay, and take this polyplane and make it into a 3D mesh. And go into UV map, say 4096. Hold shift, click, and then hit this UVP blink. This is a UV planar button. It's a projection flat on. Okay, I can now go get that texture. It's actually an alpha. It should be still there. I just reinitializing it doesn't make it go away. And I'm going to flip it the right way. Well, wait a minute. I'll want to preview it, so never mind. Flip it back. Now, please note that this is upside down in Maya. Okay, that's why I have to flip it. All right, so very easy. What I'm going to do is go to Texture Map, create a new map. The new map should be 4096. The displacement map, I go down here. I'm going to load that one. All right, so what it did is it projected on the plane because the plane has just flat UVs. Okay, now material. Well, let's go to something like I'm just picking out a material. Please note that you can go to pixelogic.com and pick out tons of material for this workflow. I'm going to choose this one right here. And right now this is at point zero one or point zero eight. So I'm going to say point one. And you can't type it in of course, that would be nice. Whoa. The minute I start seeing like texture seams is the minute I don't do it. So as you can see right here, see how there's texture seams and I'll point out one right here. This. Okay, so I'm going to back off the intensity a little bit so those disappear. just about right there okay now what I'm going to do is produce a texture based upon this okay this is how you do that document new document no document double click and drag it out and hit edit now the reason I did that was because um, what I want is a document that's a little higher res um, I have this 4096 map. I'm going to be using a thing called Projection Master to burn the texture to this plane. Okay, so 
it relies on polygons and pixels. So the pixels on the screen here match just about the pixels on this as far as 4096 just about and there's there's ratios all day long but I'm just gonna say document double works just about every time sometimes you have to du double it twice and here's projection master I'm gonna go colors shaded take off fade make sure this is locked in other words hold shift and lock it into position before you do this and projection master pick up so what that did is took all this detail and burned it right onto that texture so now I have a texture that looks like this it took the material it took the displacement and added them together to produce a map hmm interesting no doubt right okay well it gets better now if I wanted to do this, um, I could show this by cloning it and go onto the skull and put that map onto it. Okay, and then I'll just take and uh, up the geometry a little bit. And there we go. It's on level 3, but it looks like it's on level 7. Now there is some problems. You know, it's not just that easy, of course. So I'm going to show you some issues. Namely, let's generate all the maps. Okay, and I'm going to go in here to take off smooth UV, leave off adaptive and I'm going to hit create normal map the thing that people do all the time is the fact that they over detail the texture to undercompensate the normal map <laughs> so the normal map contains a lot of information here you know I want to take advantage of that oops let's go to level 2 and generate that normal map So all maps should complement each other. One should not be more powerful than the rest. Let's hit Gozi and kind of look at this. And I think I'll stop here, let it load into Maya, and then join me in the next video.